Hello and welcome to this video course on how to use WordPress Gutenberg editor. So we're going to go in depth. So if you don't know how to use the editor and you know a little bit, we're going to dive in a lot deeper. So this is video number one, which is the introduction. So let's talk about Gutenberg and a little bit about it. Gutenberg was created as more of a drag and drop dynamic editor. Now there are pros and cons. So I want to make sure that you are able to see both sides. Some of the pros include the following. Number one, it provides more screen space. Number two, it's more dynamic with blocks. And number three, blocks are fun to use. So when I talk about blocks, I'm talking about image blocks, audio blocks, and different types of blocks that fit different media. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. And what's cool about this is you can drag and drop them. You can move them around very, very easily. And number four, it also works great on mobile. Now the primary con or disadvantage is that although it's listed as beginner friendly, <laughs> the reality is that it has so many options that it can get really quite confusing. And that is why we will go over most of the important areas in this video course. With that said, I like to give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course so you know exactly what to expect. So this is video number one, obviously video number two, we're going to give you a quick overview of the user interface. Video number three, we're going to talk about the different types of blocks so that you're aware of the many blocks that are available to you. Video number four, we'll talk about using the sidebar, which is on the right hand side that pertains to each block. And number five, we'll talk about common blocks that are available to you. And of course, video number six, we'll talk about formatting blocks. So as you can see here, I'm breaking it up into simplified videos. I don't want to put all of these into one video to overwhelm you. All right. So video number seven, we'll talk about layout elements and video number eight. We'll talk about if you're not ready for Gutenberg and you do not like the editor after you've seen all of this, how do you go about disabling it? How do you go about reverting to the old classic editor? And this is a big thing. A lot of people do not like Gutenberg. So they prefer to go back to the classic editor. So we want to make sure that you have the options available to you if you choose to go down that route. And of course, last but not least, we've got video number nine, which is more editor options. In terms of getting started, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you need to have is a WordPress site with administrator access because we are going to log in to the WordPress administrator dashboard and I'll show you around.